I need to do my assignments for class. I see in my to-do list, I have a new discussion. It says apples and pumpkins. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this to see. Oh, my teacher has given us an entrance ticket. I recall that she said when there's this icon, it means that there's a recording and she likes to tell us what the assignment is, but I can read this. Tell me one thing you know about apples and one thing you know about pumpkins. I'm gonna click on reply. I know there are red, yellow, and green apples. There are big and small pumpkins. That's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and post it so my teacher can see it. There, I know I did my assignment because it's posted. As a teacher, you can come in and open your discussions either by coming into discussions or in the home, you have that ability. So I'm gonna navigate down and I can see that here is the student's discussion. If I come and click the three dots to the far right, I can open this in SpeedGrader and this is where I can give the complete because I listed this as a either a complete or an incomplete assignment. So I can say complete and I can also provide instant feedback. Great job. What type of apple do you like best? And I can submit that to the student and it tells me I've submitted it. And if I go into the students and refresh their screen, I can come to home. The students are gonna see that I gave instant feedback and they can continue that dialogue if necessary. Now, how did I create this? Let me go into my Canvas course. And I came to discussions. And I just added a new discussion, gave it a title, nuts and leaves. I can put in my text in here. And when I'm finished, I can navigate down. You have some options. One of the options is allowing the thread threads to be seen and replied to. But what I did before is I did a graded one. So I clicked on graded. Again, I said it was a complete and incomplete. If you have an assignment group, you can assign it to an assignment group. But make sure you provide a due date. If you do not provide a due date, it may get lost in some of your pieces. When I'm done, I click Save and Publish. And then my students will have the ability to do another discussion. Hope this was helpful.